Hey everybody, so excited to be with you today. We are gonna talk about the Alzheimer's hoax. And uh, new research came out that those people who helped originally develop the beta amyloid deposition cause of Alzheimer's disease, Alzheimer's cause, by your brain producing too much of a sticky, gooey protein called beta amyloid, um, that they weren't completely honest with the data. And the scientists at a very high level for a number of years have been saying, this isn't working. And th the problem with this is there is there have been billions of dollars of research going into beta amyloid prevention strategies, beta amyloid vaccine strategies, beta amyloid drug strategies, and none of them have worked. Uh, and even the new medicine that was approved by the FDA, which is very expensive, still doesn't work at a level that is clinically significant for most people. So what's the problem with all of this? It, it's decade, it's derailed decades. So that people who um, need help can get the right help. And in 2004, uh, neurologist Rod Schenkel and I wrote a book called Preventing Alzheimer's, and we argued there's never gonna be a pill and there's never gonna be a vaccine to prevent Alzheimer's. Why? There are too many causes. And then in 2017, I wrote my book, Memory Rescue. And some of you may actually know of Dale Bredesen's work. And basically he says, the first cure for Alzheimer's. And I'm like, it's basically what we wrote in 2004. And here's the big idea. If you want to keep your brain healthy or rescue it, if it's headed for trouble, you have to prevent or treat the 11 major risk factors that steal your mind. And a couple of things we know from the imaging research is that Alzheimer's disease actually starts in your brain decades before you have any symptoms. Um, decades before you have any symptoms. So if you are smart, you would spend your whole life on an Alzheimer's prevention program, which, oh, by the way, is the same program to prevent depression. It's the same program to prevent any mental health because, like newsflash, your brain creates your mind, and if your brain's not right, your mind is not right. So, what you eat, how much you sleep, your level of exercise. I'm actually in my workout clothes, I just came back from Tana working out. It's not going to be, you're gonna take a pill, decrease amyloid, beta amyloid in your brain, and then you'll be fine. It's not going to happen. The research was fudged, the research was wrong, and uh, it is so important that we really understand Alzheimer's disease has many different causes, just like depression has many different causes. And if you want to keep your brain healthy, if you want to keep your brain healthy, you have to prevent or treat these 11 big risk factor. So let me just go through them quickly. We created a mnemonic called Bright Minds. And the B in Bright Minds is for blood flow. Low blood flow, number one brain imaging predictor of Alzheimer's disease. 
That's why I just worked out. I was on a bike, lifted weights, increased blood flow, stretched. All, all of these things are just critical so that you have healthy blood flow. Kill the caffeine, the nicotine, alcohol, marijuana, all of those decrease blood flow to the brain. Make sure your blood pressure is healthy. Too low, it's a problem. Too high, it's a big problem. Uh, the R is retirement and aging. Learn something new every single day. Um, and be connected to other people. Isolation, loneliness is a significant contributor to Alzheimer's disease. I is inflammation, which is why I'm a flossing fool. You don't want gum disease. Uh, I take omega-3 fatty acids every day to decrease inflammation, curcumins can decrease inflammation, and a probiotic to keep your gut healthy. G is genetics. Stuff runs in families. I have obesity and heart disease in my family, but I'm not overweight and I don't have heart disease. Why? Because I'm on an obesity and heart disease prevention program every single day of my life because I know my risks. Know your risks. If you have substance abuse, in your family don't use. Um, H is for head trauma, just a major cause of mental health problems. T is for toxins, alcohol, marijuana, environmental toxins, so mold or mercury, heavy metals, general anesthesia, the air you breathe, people who live with there's more air pollution have a higher incidence of Alzheimer's disease and the water you drink. I'm in Florida today. You can see the water a little bit behind me. Um, and a study from Florida International University found that a lot of fish cost off the coast of Florida have pharmaceutical medications in their tissue. On average, they had seven. Uh, just nuts. M is for mental health. I'm doing a big research uh, project on early childhood trauma and the impact it has on the brain and so far it's not very good. Um, the second eye is immunity and infections. We post a lot on COVID brain, but also things like Lyme and Epstein-Barr, uh, West Nile, all sorts of infections can lead to Alzheimer's disease. Uh, N is for neurohormone disorders. You wanna optimize your hormones, get them tested every year. D is diabetes, just a huge problem. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, your weight goes up, the size and function of your brain goes down. I know there's a big body positivity movement. Uh, you don't want a smaller brain. Get to a healthy weight. Uh, now, don't be underweight because that's no good. Brand new study out today on anorexia. Um, anorexia hurts the brain. Healthy. Wait, BMI between 18.5 and 25. Um, and S is sleep, make sleep a priority. So that's my Alzheimer's prevention treatment program. Um, beta amyloid may in fact be protective. I'm just gonna close with this one story. I was at a big scientific meeting with people from GE, uh, General Electric, and they spent a hundred million dollars developing a medicine to track beta amyloid in the brain. And so a lot of neurologists actually order uh, an amyloid study and the medicine's called Amavit. And, and I looked at him, I'm like, how much did you spend to develop this? He said, $100 million. I'm like, brain spec, the study we do at Amen Clinics and the medicine we use also owned by GE. Um, Brain spec will tell you Alzheimer's, yes or no, but it'll also tell you about frontal temporal lobe dementia, Parkinson or Lewy body dementia, what Robin Williams died of. It'll say, is this head trauma, alcohol, uh, infectious, or this thing called pseudo dementia, which is you're really depressed. And that's why you look like you have dementia. I hope all this is helpful to you. Um, I'm working on a brand new show for public television called Memory Makeover. A lot of this information you can find in my book, Memory Rescue or The End of Mental Illness. I hope all of you have a great day. Take care.